Hi guys, welcome to this session in Microsoft Excel. In this module, I want to show you how you can send an email direct from Excel. I'm going to use the hyperlink function to do it. So on the screen, I've got some data, company, uh, name of a person, balance, telephone number, email, and then I've got hyperlinks at the end there, which will actually send a message to that person. So if I click this one, it will open up Outlook and give me a subject and a bit of text in the middle there. So that's what I want to recreate. If I click Outlook down, get rid of that. Now I'll do it in stages. So first of all, I'll use the hyperlink function, this one, to um, just mail without any subject or without any body. So if I get myself in this cell, I'll just replicate what it says above there, but use this, this line of data. So first off, I'm going equals hyperlink. So I'm typing HY even, and then I can tab to the hyperlink function. So the link location, now you have to use this mail to feature with a colon, and that has to sit inside quotes, double quotes. So open double quotes, type mail to colon, close double quotes quotes and then you refer in with a bit of concatenation use the the and sign to the email address so in this case Tanya and then I do a, um, a comma then I open quotes and now I do a friendly name something I want to appear like mail to Tanya there so you can just put a mail to uh, I've done it to a reference I've just done it to the actual name in column a so I'll type the word mail to and then close the quotes, do an and sign and then click on Tanya's name in cell A5, close the bracket, click the tick. So it says mail to Tanya. When I click that, it should put the her address in there, which it has done. Now it hasn't done a subject and it hasn't done any body. So let's see if I can do one not saving that so this one at the top is slightly different so what I need to do is add these extra things in so we've got this next bit the subject option so I need to edit this so I'll get into this get myself up here so after I do the mail to and then um, concatenate in this example e5 after the e5 I need to get my mouse there, do another concatenation symbol, and then a quote, because I'm going to do a text, and then I want a comma. And now to put the subject option in, you need a question mark, and then subject. So question mark, the word subject, and then equals, and then after equals, you need to close your quotations and then refer to whatever cell that you want so I need to do another glue point I call them glue points but the, the concatenation symbol and in this case if it's going to be for Tanya it's going to be um, this C1 um, I can still do C1 actually because it's going to be the balance that's right C1 close the and sign and then what you've got there is still the comma. Now, if you just check this, so link location should be the first bit up to that comma. And then friendly name should be the last bit like so. So let's just check this works. Okay, I've missed something out. Okay, what is it flashing up on there for? So I've missed out the... Um, I don't want that last hand sign. I think that's what I've missed out. Put one in there I shouldn't have done yet. I was just going to go on and do the body. Now it's done it. So if I click that, it should put the word balance in the subject line, which it has done. Happy teddy bear. And to put some text in there, you're just moving it along and doing this symbol. This is where you have to put that extra and sign in there on that C1. So on that C1, as long as you're in front of that comma, you may well have noticed that as I'm doing this, I'm not getting... A lot of help in terms of what to put so it's just basically sort of having to know what to put so now I need to 
after I've done that and signed that ampersand, I need to do open quotes again. And now the code I need to put is the word body equals body equals. And then I'm opening quotes again. And then this time I'm going on to the company. That's what I want. Oops, I need to go back onto this. Um, the body equals, get myself up there. Okay, it's already gone into that. Don't panic, Mr. Manring. So up there, body equals. After the body equals, I need the app uh, and sign. So that's what I didn't do, because that's why it's just started doing its own business. And then I'm clicking on the cell. You can't click on the cell until you've done the and sign. And then I need to close in this case, because I want to put some text in here. Close that. And now I want to put the word O's and that needs to go and the pound sign that needs to go inside quotes. So I'm opening quotes, O's, doing a space, doing a pound sign, closing quotes. So that's what I've got there. Um, and then I've got and C2. So and sign. And then I can click on the whatever the O or whatever the bounce is. Like that. And then just checking the thing still works. Link location should be all the front bit up to that comma. And then the mail to is the last bit there. Like so. So when I tick that. Click on mail to Tanya. Balance. Fix it IT owes £22. Voila. Happy teddy bear again. Close. I'm not saving that email. So it's quite a, a long protracted process to do that. And there's quite a lot of syntax errors, as you can see, that I just did a couple there, where you can miss things out. And the thing that I find odd, personally, is that this last reference does not have a concatenation sign before that comma. Um, it's the end of that phase, I suppose, is what it is. It's the end of that part of the function. That's the end of the function, the end of the argument, so it doesn't need the... Um, and sign but normally when you do concatenation you tend to if you've got something else coming you tend to want to put another and sign there or ampersand whatever you want to call it that's what threw me when i first did this so you don't need that last one there because it's the end of the link location argument the next bit is the friendly name and i think that's what you've got to keep doing when you're doing this just clicking on that and see what's been selected to make sure you've got everything in the right place but that's all i wanted to talk about in this little video is how you can email directly from Excel using the hyperlink function. So hopefully it was of use. Thank you for your time and I'll catch you in the next one.